Hello. Uh, in this video, we're going to go through how to use the Hunter tire changer to take a tire off the rim and then put it back on the rim. First and probably most important step is to take out the valve stem. If you don't take the valve stem out and you leave air in the tire, when you go to break the bead, there's a good chance the tire is going to blow up on you. So you always want to make sure you take out the valve stem completely. This is the valve stem remover. Put it in and just unscrew the valve stem. Once all the air is out of the tire, we can line it up in our bead breaker. And it's good to put the valve stem at the top just in case there's a tire pressure monitor sensor inside. You line the edge of the shovel up against the edge of the rim. If you get the shovel on top of the rim, when you go to press it in, you'll actually crush the rim or bend it. So you want to make sure it's not contacting the rim itself. We're going to use the pedal on the right here. And you're going to ease into it. Break half of it loose. Do the other half. Line it up against the edge of the rim. Step on the pedal. And flip the tire around to the other side. Once again, line it up on the edge of the rim, but not on it. And rotate 180. And same thing. All right, you know you've done it right when the edge of the tire is pushed in more towards the center of the rim. At this point, we're gonna throw the tire up on top of the machine. And pressing this middle pedal, we're gonna lock it in. The next step. And I'm going to try and hold the camera up so it's a little better. So we're going to take this arm and swing it in. And what we want to do is put this piece down against the edge of the rim. We do that using this knob at the top. You do not want to put your hand here because if it goes up you can get your skin sucked in and it tears it pretty good. So we're going to push this down until it's on the edge of the rim. And then using this knob we're going to lock it in place. A little hard to do one-handed. Once you push that lever forward, this part's locked in place. Now, I'm trying to adjust this a little bit. I like to refer to this as the duck. You've got the duck's beak, the duck's head, and then the duck's tail. If you think of it with those terms, it makes it a little bit easier to take the tire off and then put it back on again. We're going to take this lever. One side has a little, uh, little knob on it. I think that one works a little bit better. We always pry on the duck's beak. If you pry on the actual rim, there's a chance you could bend the rim, or if it's an alloy, one, chip it. So we always pry on the duck's beak. Push down on the left side of the tire, and don't let go of the bar. If you do, there's a chance it could flip away from you. Hold it down, and it's a little hard to see, but the left pedal down here is the one we're going to push down on to rotate it. And if you need to, you can stop at any time. If something's not quite going right, you can let up on the pedal, readjust if you need to. To take off the second side of the tire, the bottom side, we're going to do the same thing. Prying on the duck beak. Push this bar all the way down with your right hand. Kind of lift up on the tire. And if you do this right, the bar is going to come out the bottom side. Pry that bead up on the duck head and rotate. When it starts to come loose, stop, take the bar out, and then we always put it back down on the bottom here. And now the tire's off of the rim. We're going to go ahead and release this. And now the mounting head is out of the way. And our tire's off the rim. At this point, you take your new tire, or in this case, we're just going to reuse it. Get your new tire, now we're going to prep it to put the new tire on. We 
what we're gonna do is take that stuff in the little black bottle there. That's called uh, Rube Glide, or slang for it sometimes called Dead Rat. Uh, we're gonna take that and put it along the bead of the tire and the edge of the rim. Put it on the bead of the tire. And then on the edge of the rim where the tire normally sits. If you skip this, the rubber is really sticky and the tire doesn't like to slide onto the rim. Put the tire on, you're gonna set it on an angle. Take this arm, swing it back in, push it down, lock it into place just like before. And it's important to know that there's this knob up here. You want to adjust this knob so that the duck is not sitting along the edge of the rim. You can see it moving away. It's a little too far, so I'm going to bring it back. If it rides along the edge of the rim, you're going to gouge up the rim, chip the rim. So you want to push that away just a little bit. All right, so what we're going to do is take the lower bead, and this one's going to be a little hard to see because it's inside the tire. We're going to go over the duck tail and then under the duck's head. That's going to zip it back onto the rim. So set the bead of the tire over the tail, under the head, a little close up there. So it goes over the tail, but then underneath the duck's head. Once that's set up like that, press the lower left pedal to rotate, and the tire will drop on. Same thing on the top side. This one will be a little bit easier to see. We're going to go over the duck's tail, underneath the duck's head. And it's important to use knuckles. If you use your fingers, it's a good chance to get them stuck inside there. Lightly push down. And here's the part where we've got to be careful. If we go too far, you can see right here that it's getting tight. If we keep going, we're going to tear the edges of the tire. We're going to tear the bead of the tire. So what we have to do is stop push down, kind of hear the pop sound, goes down to the middle of the rim, or what they call the drop of the rim, and now that allows my tire to kind of squeeze on on the other side. So I'm going to keep pushing down, rotate a little more, and now it pops on. I'm going to release the arm, push that out of the way. And now my tire is loosely on the rim. The next step is going to be to seat the bead. Up here is a hose, and on the right side, right here, we take this off and we put that on the valve stem. Down on the bottom of the machine is this little black pedal. We're going to push down on that. Now there's going to be a big blast of air. What the big blast of air does is shoot air out of these nozzles down here. It kind of helps pop the tire onto the rim. So a big blast of air. And you want to keep your hands and body away from the tire in case the tire flies off the rim. So you'll see I'm holding it back here a little ways. Tried it once, it still didn't quite seat all the way, so I'm going to lift up on this. There it goes. And you're going to start hearing it pop and tink. There it goes. And now the bead has been seated on the tire. Now we had to do that whole process with the valve stem out. If you put the valve stem back in, it doesn't allow enough air in, and there's a lot of times you can't seat the bead. I'm going to take my valve stem, put it in the valve stem tool, and lightly screw this back in. Just finger tight's all you need. Put this back on, and I'm going to release the machine so it's not holding the tire anymore. Now the tire is free to be picked up. Um, if you don't release it, sometimes the tire can pop up on you. And we're going to use that black pedal again to fill the tire up. On the machine, up here, is a gauge. And the gauge will tell you what pressure you're at. Right now we're just below 10 PSI. Um, for practicing purposes, that's where I like to stop. If you're doing a tire for real, you'd fill it up to whatever the manufacturer recommends.